Oh. How about that? So, one thing about Idris is that it is strict instead of lazy, right? Are no lead bindings? That beat wants to know it's a string. <laughs> Not a terminator. What is this? Maybe it needs to know it's a string inside the binding. We're figuring out Idris as we go along. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Well, apparently we don't need this anymore. Okay, that was easy. That was easy. What is this language? I thought it was supposed to be hard. What the hell, man? <laughs> Did you guys told me it should be hard. <laughs> Get some code editor integration for Idris. Nah, you'll just fuck around with it for now. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna deal too long with it. Idris. Let's make like a crappy Nick shell. Mm. I probably can copy over the one from uh, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Come to think of it. Yeah. So let's use that pin. And also let's use that shell. And then, you know, we'll just say we want Idris. We also say you're a Git repository. And we have a project. How about that? Ship it, exactly. <laughs> we have Nix bindings. <laughs> so now we can just enter this next shell and have Idris. Reproducibility. How about that? Why am I here? We're not doing Haskell. What the hell, man? We're doing Idris. Let's keep up the, the good logo. Hmm. Is that all? Like, the, the, the name is part of it or something? Small logo. Example. Yeah, so we're gonna probably do Advent of Code. Uh, I hear that's a good way to learn languages. Um, since we already done Hello World, it was so easy, uh, hard. Or maybe we should make like a file or something and, and run that. Oh wow, there are a lot. <laughs> oh, let's do all of these. <laughs> Probably don't have enough time for that, but... How, how, like, what, what is the extension of Idris anyway? Um, how do you, like, use it as a compiler? What, what is this thing, Idr? Okay. Hello. Okay. Let's do this, I guess. Main is a string. Oh. Uh, Idris. Main. This is not quite what I wanted from this. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we did get, like, you know, we're running the main function and returning a string. <laughs> Fim. Oh my god, Fim. Yes, that's that's the biggest problem right now. I just want to quickly set something up. So this is like the initial... Wait, what's this? What are you? IBC. What's going on? Uh, take off. Excellent. Compiled thing. So it's like a Python C, I guess. Let's ignore those files. Let's, just, let's get them first. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. It's a binary. Um, Star.ibc. Git ignore. So now we are ignoring those files in Git. Uh, if I spell correctly. Git ignore. Ignore. <laughs> Git ignore. There you go. Ignore compilation files. Okay, cool. Um, yes, we did it. How do I make like? How do we? So how is there like a stack or something for Idris? How do we do like dependency management? How do we do anything? <laughs> oh, packages, there you go. It was built. There's ipatch. Also Elba. Great, we have choice. <laughs> Makes everything more easy, right? Other common fields which may be present in the ipatch are source tier, which gets relative to current directory. Do you have like a template? Maybe there's like an iteris template. How about that? There you go. Just use his code. Wait, this is Scala? No. Oh, don't do that. 
Uh, let's make you windowed. There you go. And then let's see what they do. Package app. So this is like the iPackage file. And then you say you want these dependencies. Or this is the things you're using. Look. C, C bindings? Oh, we need that. Some funk. Okay, I think I want this template. Let's add this as a remote and just merge it in. Let's do that. What's app? So this actually looks like a um, stack-like template, I guess. They're even using some funk. What is foreign marshal? I'll look to either. You can probably delete this stuff, I think. Yeah. We don't need to. We don't need to allocate any memory. That we should use the address for that, I think. Uh, but we can use this template as at least to you know build. We can just make. Okay, cool. Let's do that. So let's add this as a remote repository to our current Git repository. Remote add template. Git fetch template. And now git merge template master. Allow unrelated histories. Yes, just god damn it. Thanks. Just do that stuff, I guess. So now everything is tracked. And we have the entire template project we just saw before. Inside this repository as well. Um, and let's see if this builds. Unexpected P. Let's just delete that thing. <laughs> let's just delete it. I don't know why it doesn't build. Apparently, there is no longer public and private in Idris since the four years it was used or created. <laughs> public? Well, maybe we can try fixing it up. I don't know. I don't know what's wisdom. Partial public. What does it mean? Hmm. Lib.h. It wants to link against lib.h. C bits? Oh, there you go. Oh, this is just to show you can actually call C functions. But we don't care about that, I think. We don't care about it at all. We just want to, you know, use the stuff. And we don't really care about that foreign stuff. So we can delete all that. RM, C bits. I just wanted to have something that builds. It's pretty cool you can do that, but we don't need that. We go to Shruk. I think we can delete hello as well. Okay, cool. Uh, and we should ignore object files, I think. Yeah, we should totally ignore object files. So let's start at O. Get ignore. Okay, cool. And I'll delete those other two modules as well. In Shrek. Uh Control. Um, R foreign and we also want to delete hmm it's really annoying they, they, these get mixed up into the source code like I, I'm confused by that we don't need this we don't need any of that we just do put string line hello world okay can we run this make file? Damn it. We should rename it to small letter make file because I always do that. Um, I don't want to type capitals. Install? No, no install. All. Oh. Install test app. What the fuck is install? I don't want to install it. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does install mean? Help. Help me, Idris. Um, install package. Thanks. Why? Oh my god. I, I doubt that we'll find much documentation on this. <laughs> um, packages. Installing, huh? Mm. Install means install! Yes, of course. <laughs> Why don't you even bother, right? <laughs> um, repository, community standards. Idris sources available in our repository. 
What's that mean? Okay, never mind that. Let's just um, not install, I guess. And I don't know what make does in any case. Like, I think it takes the first thing, which would be all. What's the app? Oh, I think this does the um, app.i package thing. If we do like Idris install app.i package. If I can type this, Idris. Um, and now it's complaining about the fact that it can't find the libraries we just deleted. So let's delete those as well. Uh, wait, what? Why? There are no libraries here. So let's see. Maybe it's in the iPackage then or something. There you go. Package app. And then you have these modules. So this is like the Kabel file, I guess. And you need to de explicitly declare all the modules you're making. Which we won't. Cbits. Wait, what's Cbits? Why are you still complaining about Cbits? Oh, make file libc. Wait, what? Ah, that's the problem. They they want to still do that stuff. Yeah, we can delete that. Your cam is not the most optimal position, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Right, it should be top right, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's a struggle with the cam. Should pay more attention to the um, actual display. Hmm. So... I think I can just delete this entire file. Because we're not going to do any of that C stuff. We just wanted to have like a little setup to get the package management going without reading any documentation. Um, and then also... We want to say no to this. And just use the normal way of installing things, which is with Idris install. And got error. <laughs> oh, it actually tries to legitimately install it. We just want to build it though. Or run it. Build. There you go. We can build things now. Let's make a compile error and see if it uh, if it breaks. So this is like, um, I guess the Idris install or Idris build stuff with that iPackage stuff is uh, using stack basically. Uh, except we use, you know, the Idris toolchain instead of Haskell. That's what I get from it. It's like building production value. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, high quality stream here, man. <laughs> um, let's make a compile error. So let's just say some random things and see if this compiles. I just want to, yeah, it breaks. Good, it should break. We want to make sure that the compile tool chain is working like expected. And now let's make a crappy file watch around this as well. So that will be, mm, yeah, we can like use a script, I guess. We'll have a file watch. Yeah, I think that's sensible. Um, so let's just copy that over, I guess, from the template, right? We have scripts in here? No, this is sand. Mm -hmm. I think it was like in Ruster, we had like a file watch thing. Uh, is it needed right now? Yeah, probably. We'll make the most rudimentary editor support ever by using shell scripts. Yes! Because I understand this stuff. We'll just watch source, I guess. And you know, the thing we want to do is make build. Thanks. You don't need to touch this stuff, man. Don't worry about it. Probably want to touch... Uh, this is the initial build, right? So we want to touch something inside. Suck. Uh, you want to touch... What do you want to touch? You want to touch lip either. After a second. It's all like in the, do the initial file watch. Touching, yes. Oh my god, touching. <laughs> touchy, touchy. Okay, cool. Uh, let's put you into scripts. Move. Watch, right? There you go. And then we can just run that, I guess. See if it works. Oh, you don't know about not uh, notify wait, right? <laughs> Touch worked though. Touch worked. It now knew about that. 
But let's give it, give it I notify wait. So it's like an notify tools, I think. Tools. Okay. I don't know then. Maybe I misspelled it. Maybe it's like a dash between the two. Maybe I should like learn how to search. Uh, maybe maybe I'll just try something and see. Hope it works. <laughs> maybe maybe maybe. There you go. I notify tools. <laughs> There's no build command. <laughs> right. That's also important, I guess. Uh, we should we should tell it how to build. So let's do that. <laughs> Good point, man. Let's give it the build command. Well, instead of Idris install, we'll just do. Why do you even make like a, a thing out of this? It's always the same, right? Who cares? Idris build. There you go. And now, if we ch change that file, it should fail. Because um, we don't know how to do Idris, actually. <laughs> uh, let's see if this works. Oh, you have built. I notify E, modify create stick. Oh, it says missing. Um, it says the make file is wrong. <laughs> because we didn't do the. Semicolon, right. Let's try again. There we go, we have a crappy file watch. <laughs> Alien language, yes. It's like, um, uh, break, not, not having, not breaking, not having, and then stopped, right. Gestopped, stopped, right. Hmm, okay. So we have a crappy editor with crappy film support. And now I guess we need to just move on to... Oh, we also need to run this thing, by the way. We need to run this thing. But you don't know about the IO. Wait, what? Oh, we need to just kill this as well, yes. Okay, now let's run this thing. Skull, yeah. I don't know what it means. Let's run this thing. It is run. Can you run like this? I don't know. Let's see. Run, 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 run. Maybe we can grab it? No. Evil? We can evil. Lip dot evil, right? No such variable circ, right. It actually like tries to evaluate this entire thing as an expression. <laughs> and I just wanted to evaluate the entire file. How interesting. Not what I want though, I just wanted to run. We have build a package, install a package. Uh, launch REPL for only for executables. Test package, check package. How do I run something? Maybe like it generates some binary somewhere. I thought you were a Viking god, no. <laughs> I'm not. Maybe there's like an app. No. Okay. Modules, object, source tier, package app. But how do I run it? Maybe I do need to install. But you won't do that because you can't write into Nix uh, directories. <laughs> so this is Nix fucking up my life again. <laughs> Um, installing lib ipc to... Maybe you can actually run this thing. This binary thing. If you'd like... Let's try doing that. It doesn't make sense to me. Because probably you need to link it or something. But... It's worth a try. No, you're not the elf format. Nani? What is this song? Uh, we'll just put it to the list, I guess. So how's it going? I don't know how to run something. <laughs> I'm done with homework for today. Excellent. You can put all your attention to Idris. Right, so actually it builds, right? We have like a little little file watch as well here. Um, meaning we can just like modify the file and it will update itself. 
But uh, now I'm like looking how to actually run Idris, you know? Uh, if I oh, I'm already in here. So if you like make muck something up in here, then it will you know complain about it inside with Idris support. Why not just use the Idris shell? Um, because I wanna I wanna like eventually get an executable, right? What Idris template did you use? Uh, get remote MP. This one. This is actually for foreign uh, dependency, so you can like link it to C. It is mode. Like, don't worry about editor support for the, for the moment. Like this is the first time we're using this language. It's like a this is like an initial survey. You don't wanna you don't wanna commit too much onto tooling. You just wanna use crap tooling and and see how it, how it goes and if you even like the language. Even though like it's quite famous, you know, amongst Haskellers, and it's like a new level of a new way of thinking. I don't like I I like to be skeptical about these things and just dive into it. <laughs> Yes, crap tooling. Yes, just use whatever. Uh, did I actually do the copying? I'll trust Cry Bro to submit good music. So immortalized. Um, Idris has some really cool candy. Don't. <laughs> oh, you you are you are immortalized now. Unless you manage to annoy me, then um, so you can't run this. I don't know how to run this. Hmm. I use official code plugin. I think I installed code the other um, actually in this afternoon because I I made like this font with with lines through it and like glowing text, and I wanted to actually make my entire editor font like that. So it will be it will actually look like a C CTR terminal, right? One of those old ones like you see in Fallout. <laughs> but um, yeah, not on this PC, unfortunately. Maybe? No. Don't have. Um, I want to run it. Can I just like have the crappy tooling and just run the thing? It would probably be in a documentation, right? Tutorial main features. You would probably tell me how to run the program, right? No, don't tell me about the language. I don't care about it yet. I just want to run it. Wait, they use Cabo? <laughs> really? That's crazy. Frequently asked questions. How do I run my program? <laughs> I don't, I don't care about production yet. Why does... Uh, I don't care about that either. I don't care about that either. Evaluation REPL. How do I run it? Like, it's a pretty obvious question, right? How do I run a program? This is why you have a programming language. <laughs> I've obviously determined it. Um, well, well, it be, okay. Why would you ask this about above running it? It's just such a theoretical... Uh, okay... How do you run it? <laughs> Idris, run, run. Let me check it myself. Are you like an Idris expert, Sour? Co-chan. That seems good. There was some way I did it build an executable. Maybe with install? I, I built it and do it. I'm in the top 1%. <laughs> wow. So you're like one of three people that use it? Total. But oh, is it like a totality checker as well? That's nice. We don't have that in Haskell. Mm, install test package. Bytecode, code gen. Exe! How about that? Expression. I don't want to do expression, I want to do targeted. Execute? I've used Idris once. I proved my program correct. Though I had no reason to run it. <laughs> Why is there I.O. if you, like, don't want to run it? Command not found. Probably want an alias for this. No such variable main. Oh, you need to actually put a very Okay, 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 I see, I see, I see. You need to put it into app. Where's app? You have app, right? Maybe we need to execute app. Or like the the entire package. Hmm. App dot either. Did you install either gen? Probably not. Gen. Um. 
iOS is for Java devs. iOS for Java devs. Making real world programs. <laughs> Making real world programs. Who would even do that? Yes. Let's actually add that then. Um, oh, this is the pin. Idrigin. Hmm. Idrigin. So is it like cable or something? <laughs> Probably not because it's. No. Okay, let's actually look it up then. The gen. This is not helping! <laughs> okay. Let's copy it from chat. A project management tools for Idris. But like a Haskell package then, I guess. Hmm. Weird. Packages of Haskell packages. Which is like fully written, whereas everywhere else is packages. But no, no you need to write it out here. And then it again. And now we can enter. Let's go back, it's missing. Packages. There you go. Spelling is hard. Spelling is my nemesis. Hydrogen. Yeah, like, I don't, I, I don't really care. Like, even if it's a dead language, I would still try and try it out. Which is something we're probably gonna do with, um, Like, you probably shouldn't use this for production. Idringen. <laughs> Idringen. I mean... Idringen. I don't, I don't think this exists. <laughs> I don't think this is a thing. You forgot the N. But this worked, right? Idringen. Idringen. I don't see the difference. There are so many ends. I don't... What? Indring... Idringen. Idringen. If I tap completion. Yeah, it doesn't find it. Idrin. It's Idrin. <laughs> um, yes. No... There's no support for help yet. Is there a manual? I mean, there's probably not a manual if you didn't even do help, but you could try. I mean, <laughs> learn you Agda. Are we gonna do Agda now? We haven't even got this to run. Next. <laughs> Next language. <laughs> Boring. Doesn't even compile, damn it. Doesn't even get to into your executable. Idrin build, how about that? Oh! Oh! Idrin run. What? Permission denied? Are you... Are you... What? Um... What's the spell again? Um... There's one that, that follows everything. It's Ptrace. I need to install Ptrace. I thought it's that on my system. Nexus fuckery, I guess. Run it yourself. <laughs> we can use Docker, I guess. I should I should figure out how to run Docker containers easily. Ubuntu. No, it doesn't want to do that. Patch. That's oh, trace. Maybe it's trace. I, I think I have yes. What are you even trying to do, man? Raw system. Write. You wanna write into app. But you want to write the app folder, or you want to write app as a file, and it is a folder, and therefore you get permission denied. 84. Futux. Well, you know, I, 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 got, I, got, the, I got down to the error. <laughs> Wants to try, try doing something weird, I guess. Um, package app. Foot? Or don't? What is it? Foot? Foot? Hmm. Hmm. Run. Doesn't work. I didn't expect this to be so hard. Uh, we can try using the REPL now, I guess. And just forget about making executables ever. Do we even need executables for uh, for Advent of Code? 
Do we even need it? Are you even gonna need ever an executable? We can just, you know, import. I don't even know how to import files. Check package, test package. <laughs> you do run tests for packages, but you don't run the actual package. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Idris. You're a funny guy. Actually, we got something to, with Xer, right? Uh, but for some reason, it, maybe we need to figure it out in the I package. For, probably, yeah. We probably need to say like, okay, you're the executable file to, to run. Oh. Install the package, making it accessible by other Idris libraries and programs. Okay, that's what installed us. Why didn't you put it into the help? What? How do you even assume that my system will support this? I'm using Nixos. It's like... <laughs> it won't allow you. Package descriptions. Next OS. We can add a command for you if you want. I might, I, I'm, I'll leave it up to Sour to do that, actually. Sour, please put the final next. <laughs> it again build. It didn't work, right? It's, it's a uh, Idrin build. An owl? Yeah, because it wants to do something with app, I think. You see the problem? There's a folder called app. <laughs> There's a folder called app. And it tries to write a file called app. Run, but run app. No, because it's a folder, you can't run it. It's a directory. So we need to move app into something else. <laughs> That's why I, sh I showed it in Ptrace, right? I, I already suspected that. It tries, to, it tries to write into this directory. And then it gets permission denied. <laughs> why is that a folder? Because it's a template. But why does it give me an error permission denied instead of, hey, this is a folder? But why do I get a weird error that says permission denied? That's the better question. <laughs> Let's just call it something else, like X or something. Who knows? I know we can run it, but we can't run it because we need to rename our package. Oh, even new. <laughs> this is an exception, by the way. <laughs> this fucking. <laughs> Like you're su suggesting this program, but it has so many like. There's no logging. That's that's my problem at the moment. <laughs> it's pretty crap. Yeah. Uh, let's call it like "Hello World" or something. It's got the string, right? What? Exa does not exist. You wanna have a what? Exa does not exist? You don't know the where which which exa? It isn't a thing, right? It's just a normal path in Nixos. Normal, I guess. But you don't you can't find it for some reason. Raw system running directive process. Exa does not exist. Let's uh use trace again. Maybe we, we figure out why. Uh the executable doesn't exist. Procrastinate? You need to build it for- Okay... Wait, really? Wait, what? <laughs> Remove all dashes! <laughs> Wait, let's generate a new file. <laughs> Our new project, I guess. <sighs> I'm not gonna call it- We're not gonna call it Hello World, we're gonna call it Worlds. This is comedy heaven, this is <laughs> this is torture. <laughs> Yesterday was a guy that um liked setting up things. Maybe maybe this is something for him. <laughs> okay! Why do I need to use Iterin then? I can just execute it, right? It's just a Okay, let's uh, port file watch and whatever to this thing. Let's actually move everything out, I guess. Why did it? What does the G read me, by the way? The. I'm, I'm. Okay, thanks. Why did you even generate that? 
start to here. What is hello? Oh right, that we used it before. We can delete that, I think. Let's see. I want to delete most things in here. X. Uh, or, um, probably most of make file as well. It's gonna re rewrite that. Yeah. Want to remove the readme because it's probably useless. Want to remove circ because I don't care about it. I want to remove test because I really don't care about that. And then move everything from hello world into current directory. And then remove hello world, right? Yeah. And now we can try build again. Oh, right. I misspelled again. It's like a common theme in this stream. Can't imp I can't find import lib. Right, because they're <laughs> there are actually two um, two i packages now, and it just picks one. It doesn't even say there are two. It just says like, okay, we're gonna use app. I guess we're gonna use app. We can also leave that. <laughs> okay, and it works. We got a program, guys. We did it. Uh, let's actually commit this. Actually, the file watch also failed. Because there's no more make file. <laughs> uh, let's give it a make file. You can watch again. Oh, I deleted the scripts as well. No, I didn't. Cool. This, this is like Hello World, right? <laughs> just, just regular things, don't worry about it. Oh, we need to ignore it as well. Um, echo, hello... World into git ignore. All the other stuff I think we can track. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ho ho ho! You're approaching me! Ho ho ho! Do you have Epic File Watch though? Well, let's actually also put this in online, I think. I want to have Idris on my GitHub. I'll look cool. People will have extra respect for that, I think. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Um. Yes, this can generate unexecutable. <laughs> Nobody cares. Sorry. No more. <laughs> the truth, though. I'm sorry, man. I can give you a half star on the repo. If I say that people will care, will you give me two stars? Either is. Probably LC. Ah, uh, I don't want to do it. I'm going to say H of Conquerors. Um, yes. A simple exploration of Idris. Okay. I'll make four alt accounts. Wow. <laughs> four alt accounts for half a star. Git remote at origin. Okay. Ah, my foot. You don't like spell errors? Hmm. Look at that. 20% Idris. 35% Nyx. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Um, let me think. What to do next? So I think we're gonna do advent of code as like a yeah we're gonna do advent of code um, with Idris because I need some challenge to solve and I thought like first maybe we're gonna like open up a window actually it sounds more like more fun mm. I'm not sure zero percent cool yeah advent of code sounds kind of boring actually let's open up a window in Idris <laughs> let's do that first. I want to I wanna make a GUI app in Idris. It sounds like an excellent application of the Idris language, I think. I'm going to have to do everything with Fim as well. Oh, what is lip? Why are you even here? You missed Conquerors. You misspelled Conquerors in your repo, by the way. Oh, mate, it's a name, man. You can't misspell names. What are you talking about? You say that, but 
da, 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 da. you say that. <laughs> but maybe I'll find it. Maybe someone already... Nobody wrote anything for this language, did they? What is this even? This is like that. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe I shouldn't have deleted all those C bindings then. <laughs> They're talking about Haskell, not Idris. Hmm. Okay, let's do that then. Let's um, Idris template. Like, that's probably why the template products had C bindings, because you actually needed to do that first. Um, <laughs> so, welcome to Epic Key Stream, I guess. <laughs> you can do this. Let me think about this. Well, it's probably easiest to make like GTK bindings or something. Um, no, not GTK. What am I talking about? SDL. I think I did SDL before. I'm gonna play something, be right back. See you later, man. It's really hard to make anything real in this, I think. Maybe maybe the essence of code is not a bad idea. I wanna open up a GUI though. Hmm. Language. <laughs> Just write everything by hand. How would you even do it in C? Um So what you do first is like you, you get the dependency on STL and then you like make that event loop. And then you just sort of handle, like you, you handle the event you get to open up the window. Um, so let's actually write it in C first and then like, you know, make entry points into iters or something. Does that make sense? I probably like spent the entire stream then on, on working C stuff instead of iters. Mm. I think I've done this before though. I don't think it's, a, um, there's still nothing for it, is there? Either is hackage. Wow, I'm so used to like using dependencies and then this language has nothing. <laughs> uh, it's kind of cool. Okay, let's just do it, I think. I want to open up a GUI. I found it. I found SEL bindings. <laughs> let's use this. How do I even use this? STL I package. How do we even pull in like a dependency? So we found the bindings, which is like half of the work, I guess. Um, and now we just need to hook into this thing. Let's actually see what it is. Okay, we have colors. Nice, nice. We need colors. Um, we have effects, which is like... It uses some... I think it's something like GADT is this. Uh, and you're exporting initialize into int to STL unit. STL on. It's a list or something. It's, it's record types, maybe. Like um, record polymorphism? Get surface, STL on. Oh, it uses like some kind of free monad maybe? F, what is F? Effects. Ooh, effect? No. Yeah, this is like what I want. I want to draw some stuff. Do you have like an example how to use this? <laughs> Do start STL. If not null pointer, then pure nothing else i i have no idea what i'm getting into but we're gonna try this equality key up arrow is equal to key up arrow is true thanks i suppose are, are you, do you really want to do this this just looks like a type level this looks like a type family type level computation you're gonna say key uh keys are equal to each other if you know they're the same yeah, and this is the event loop I talked about before. So you pull the event, and then you define the inner loop um, here, right? To start STL. No, 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 this is for the surface. What What am I talking about? And STL flipper first. Maybe that's just the event loop. Is it? No, I need to define it myself, the event loop, I guess. Hmm. How do I use this? Package STL. I probably need to install it though. Maybe Nixos has like uh, Idris packages. No, wait, you know what we can do? We can make a derivation in Nix for build Idris package. There you go. <laughs> Done. <laughs> we'll make a derivation for it and then use this build input. Oh my god. Uh, what's the dumbest way of actually using this? Yeah, they use install. And I can't do that. You know what would be nice? If I can specify a separate install folder. Pro maybe I can do that. Let's try that out. Ah uh, yes. Idris help. Let's actually... Uh, 
No, 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 no. Like this. I wanna, I wanna see, have it full screen. And then let's look at help again, so it's like nicely aligned. And okay, you have like install right? Display library directory. I wanna display it. Yes, yes. Either is right. Can we just make this thing li writable and then be done with it? <laughs> make a sim link. Mm -hmm. I need to install that thing and then I can use it. But if I can just overwrite what is the lib there, then I can install it anywhere I want. Because I think of it, you already overwrote where lib there is, right? Source path, install package, install doc, indent with. No, 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 no. Optimize natural type. Hmm. Okay, I don't know how to do this. Let me think. Hmm. Three years ago, it's probably a start as the can fail. So Nix already has over it and where the install there is, right? So if you like look at the uh, derivation of uh, Idris, we can probably find out how they did that. Uh, derivation Nix. So we wanna just like uh, Idris and Nix packages, right? Oh, wait, what? There's Electron? We can write Electron apps with Idris? <laughs> we have SDL. What the fuck? What am I talking about? We can just use this. Okay. I think people are actually using this stuff. <laughs> Idris modules. Why? Why is it? Why does it? Why is this a thing? I thought it, nobody used this, but Idris modules. There you go. Attribute Idris modules is missing. It's probably like a Haskell then. Idris modules is missing. So how did you read me? <laughs> Language frameworks Idris section. Okay. Oh, we make an, we make our own Idris. Oh, that's pretty cool. We can just make our own Idris. And we'll use that as... And then we say like, okay, we want to have SDL. Two. Two. My Idris is equal to self with package. This doesn't seem like correct. With Idris packages. Idris with packages, right? What are they saying? There you go. Packages. It respects just SDL2. There you go. Right, we don't need to do that. This is an expression. It's an expression, so we don't need to anti statement as well. Just use that. And find Idris. You know about Idris though. Package is that Idris. And identified attribute with packages. No, 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 no. We did that, right? So, ever provides prelude and base libraries. To install Idris with additional libraries, you can use the Idris with packages function. In an overlay, Idris packages with packages function. Maybe this is like a uh, not not attached to Idris itself. Maybe you need to do this, and then do an additional one for separate packages or something. Maybe it's installed separately. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. It 
uterus, right? Okay, this works. Whatever. Now we should have SDL in uterus. So let's let's see how it works. I presume it's the, the, the old ass code that nobody uses anymore. Well, it really matters because SDL doesn't change. Ever. I wonder which one it is. There are two. Last year. Probably this one then. Examples. Well, you have examples, so we just copy over you and see if it works. Effects. Let's see if we can just add this to the main and see if it builds. Right? Module main and then we import a bunch of stuff. Module main and then we import a bunch of stuff. Okay. And it seems to be happy. Is we not not found? Did I, did I misspell it or something? It win. It win. Oh, you don't know about it win anymore. Shell. What the? What was the it win stuff? <laughs> did I just leave that? Div. It again. I wonder where it went. We had it before, right? So, okay, we added it again, and now you can't find it, of course. Uh, why do we end up fucking with Nick so much? Um. I didn't know AOC required SDL. This name. <laughs> Age of Conquerors? What? How did I had it? I had this before, right? What what happened? It's like Idris packages. Oh, it's Haskell packages, right? It's so dumb. Where, where did it go, by the way? I had it. Can't find import graphics SDL2 SDL. Okay, how do I declare this dependency? <laughs> oh, we know. We just need to depend on this stuff. Opts. P effects. Void just works. Thanks. Um, but does it work reproducibly? Ha ha ha. I don't know. I don't want to switch. <laughs> I don't want to switch. It's too much work. Um, yeah. Where is... It's lib.iter, right? No, 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 it's the iter files. I need to you look for the product file, which is somewhere here. I, I think it's like Hello World I package, right? Fuck is this? Okay, do you work now? The following packages were specified but cannot be found. Effects SDL2. <laughs> install OS is bigger than install Emacs. Huh? I don't get it. We're using Vim by the way. Didn't you see? Mm. So it can't find the packages now. Well, like, you know, I would have the same problem with the other operating system, though. Like, if I would switch to, I don't know, Void or whatever, I still need to find out how to install, install dependencies. And then I would probably, you know, just download the GitHub repository manually and install it like that. It's supposed to be an arrow. <laughs> install OS, install Emacs, okay. <laughs> it's not like that, though. I need to set up sync thing as well, for sure. I need to copy over my keys. I need to, for like, also, I need to set up this encryption again. Again? It's a fucking pain in the ass to do. Um, all the configurations for all the programs. It's not that easy. Like, I think last time I switched from a Gen 2 to Fedora, it took me weeks to set everything up. And at least in Nix, it's, it's kind of fast. At least. How? How do I get these? Keys are bloat. Encryption is bloat. 
Okay. Oh my god, man. Why don't you know about these? It is. <laughs> yes. So let's let's think about this. You have packages Idris with packages, right? And we also have pa uh, packages Idris uh, with packages. Maybe we can just delete this, and you'll be happy. Idrin build entering directory struck. Cannot import graphics STL to STL. That's a different error from cannot find effects SDL2. So we probably, like, we uh, depended on SDL2, but we used the example from the other project. So maybe they have, like, a different layout in the other SDL bindings. There are two, right? <laughs> there are two. And we, we, we chose the wrong one. That's what I'm thinking right now. So we can just look, use whatever module they use. Graphics SDL2. How about that? Import graphics SDL2. I'm your chat clown, yes. I'm your stream clown, how about that? There you go. Built. And now it complains about the fact that we can't find SDL. So you know, we just add it as a package here. Don't know about the CL2. God damn it. Hmm. What is like the name of that package then in Nixos? Nixos SDL2. It's probably SDL2 dev or something. But how about that? Now you can't find SDL2 as an attribute at all. Hmm. Maybe it's like a capital letters. Uh Nix package search. I was actually thinking about making some artworks with clowns in it. <laughs> I like the idea. Uh, Ascal packages. No, 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 no. I just want to have like STL2. Just the, the thing. Oh yeah, this with capital letters. How about that? Could you at least tell me? Like, why are you case sensitive at all? Maybe it's still dev though. Okay, we did it. So we now have SDL bindings in Idris, by the way. We have SDL bindings in Idris. <laughs> Let's open up a fucking window. Yes. I don't think we need this anymore. This is just to experiment, right? Yeah. But why? Well, how do, how do you, like, how do you want to make end bodies if you don't have SDL? Like, you need to display it, right? You need to display and see where the bodies are. Of course. I don't know, I thought of doing Age of Conquerors and then I realized that um, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about it at all and I've wanted to do end bodies for a while now, so... Mm. Didn't I tell you guys we're gonna do end bodies in, in um, Idris with like a GUI and whatever? It'll be epic! And we're not gonna do any editor support because I don't care. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to set it up. Uh, yeah... Let's see, how do we actually use this library then? Idris template, we don't need this anymore. We already have uh, the C bindings, right? We already have the entire graphics library we want. How do we use it though? In it. Well, that seems like a good idea. That seems like a really good idea. Let's open up some, some screen of X and Y. What do we need to do with that renderer thing then? We have keys. Oh right, we also need to have the, the um, polyvent thing. We also probably need to do that. So we'll just like do some, some in it and then start polling events. Oh, we can just do this, I guess. Hmm. Uh, so we have like a screen. 400 by 500. And then we're gonna pull event for quit. Get my VM. What's it mean? Oh well. Can we do like forever? Full event for quit. Just quit. How do you look forever in Idris? Infinite loop. Involving equal passes totality checker. Hmm. I know, we'll just call um, the function itself. 
so you know we'll do this and then if is quit then do that else we'll do main apparently that's fine oh actually no it still wants to know about SDL graph graphics. <laughs> I already thought like, oh, that was easy. No, 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 we're not finished at all. <laughs> we need to know about SDL graphics. Um, maybe we don't need to do the, the death variant. We can just use SDL, I don't know. Let's try again. Uh, collect two. Error LD gave exit status one. Failure. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I don't understand. What? This is like the entire uh, command you ran. But you get the exit status of one. May not either. LD cannot find L SDL2. So this is like some C error. We need to have another dependency, I think. Maybe we can just do packages at SDL2 graphics? Who knows? I don't know what this is. Nixos? Oh yeah, the, the, God damn, there's just a library for that, okay. Okay, 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 okay. It's actually built? I don't believe you. <laughs> Isn't there like some kind of totality checker or something? And okay, whatever. <laughs> um. Well, we have a window. Uh, you guys can see it here, right? It's like SDL two, but we don't draw. We're not drawing anything on it. The only thing we're doing is actually c a c a checking for the uh, quit event. I don't think I can move it either. In fact, my entire system seems to be freezing. Oh no, I'm fucked. <laughs> right, it's strict. Does recursion even work like this then? What happened? That's oh, fine. Okay. Um. So yeah, we have a window. Hooray! Let's draw something on it. <laughs> that was easy. I, I I don't see what. Um. Maybe I don't understand the point of iteris. I thought it was supposed to be harder. Like my, most of my struggles have been with the uh, Nyx itself, so far. Uh, this is the wrong one? The right one. Yeah, this is the wrong one. This one has examples. We don't want examples. That's bad. Examples are bad. Isn't that always the case? Yes. Kind of, yes. You're right. <laughs> well, the other issue is that nowadays I'm, I'm, I'm better at debugging stuff. Like, I, I, I realized that the other day that, you know, for Linux errors, I'm better at that now, and because in the past it, do, it just took me so long to figure anything out on, for example, Ubuntu. Uh, so, you know, I need to have that extra challenge. That's that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should switch. Probably. But uh, I'm not convinced yet. Like, I'm, I need to have additional pain, I think. <laughs> um. So we have window. Is this the right one? Still to effect. Or is this the one with the examples? Yeah, examples. We don't want that. How come I keep selecting the wrong one? Mm. I still it was package, right? I don't know. We had another one, right? Or was it this one? No. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, it was this one. What am I talking about? Let's actually uh, make a link to this this library. Because it's kind of confusing that Google shows up the wrong one. Uh, the one without examples. So let's add it to the readme. Uh, using STL binding. ST, um, there is. An exploration of Idris doing the N body problem with a GUI. There you go. Yes. 
So let's actually commit and push this because I want to, because we have a little bit of progress. And this opens up a window in Idris. Okay, cool. Epic. We did it. Um, now I want to do rendering on the background of the window. Like that's also why, what, why what I was searching for this package because I want to know how I do rendering of anything. Um, so I'm just gonna explore this library, I guess. There's no hackage, I think. There are pull requests for this library. So let's also give it a star, by the way, because this was the better one, I think. This is the one available in Nexus at least, <laughs> making it better in my eyes. Uh, render clear. So this is what the the thing you do to clear the screen, and you want to do this every loop, I think. Renderer. So we get like the screen out, or oh, the renderer, I guess. Renderer. And then we can clear it. And if we run this thing now, it's still... Oh my god. Oh, it's open up new windows every time. Because we're doing in it. Oh my god, fuck. I <laughs> I just see that. <laughs> we're opening a fuck ton of new windows. Please stop. Stop. Okay, cool. It, it noticed. Okay. So we need to make another function that actually does looping. Um, so this is like the main function and now we'll do it like a window loop. Window loop here. And we'll enter that after, you know, and it will get in the renderer as well. Yes. Can we do, um, not do, but uh, bind? How about that? There you go. And then this thing will get the render. How about those the single column? How nice is that? Renderer. There you go. So the first thing we'll do is we're clearing the entire window. Then we're pulling for events and then we quit. And then we don't want to go into main actually. We don't want to go into main. We want to go into window loop. Uh, when checking no such variable in scope, you don't know about prelude monad. Prelude monad. Hmm. I like the colors. No, I wanna I wanna get the argument out and put it into there. But um, wait, what? What are you saying? When checking the right hand side of the expected type I/O. Ah, colors. Yes. <laughs> no such variable window loop. Is it? Are you shitting me? That is so dumb! It's PHP! Look at that! If you put it below it, it doesn't know it exists. But if you put it above it, it does know it exists! <laughs> so, like, it's basically you put a Haskell splicing thing between every function. <laughs> That's the same effect. <laughs> if you put template Haskell here, here, here. Hmm. That kind of sucks, but well. Okay, now we have a window. How about that? We and we can close it. Excellent. Above is good though. You like that? You like that it it does go from top to bottom. I usually organize my programs the other way around. I, I put the most important stuff above, and then you know this is like a little bit less important than this, so I would you know flip it around. But um. No, not in Idris. You can't do that. Not allowed. Okay. Um, yeah. We can make a bitmap about that. Main is on top. I do it top to bottom except for main. Main is on top. Let's um, fill a rect. <laughs> wow. You don't like data structures, huh? Oh, it's because it's foreign. It's direct binding to the foreign mine. Okay. RGBAA. <laughs> it's all in ints as well. X, X, Y, that's zero, zero. Ys and heights is like 900, 900. And then zero, no, no, no. 255, 255, 
I didn't copy it. Oh, it, no, because it's Fim. Fim hates me. Zero, zero. What's it? What did it say? Like 900, 900? And then 255, 255. It's white, right? And then zero for um, full transparency. Because it's main, it should be on top. Hmm. So I think I did it wrong. Is this full transparency? We should have no transparency. Oh, I'm too soon. Hmm. Doesn't work. Hmm. What is going on here? Field wrecked. Render zero zero. 900. Is it building? Oh, I know. This is this is a uh, integer. So I'm trying to. Right, right. Oh, it's still bad. Maybe it's 254. Come to think of it. I wonder what is white in STL terms. Maybe it's like a hex value, actually. Come to think of it. No, it shouldn't be like that. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Field wrecked, huh? Maybe we should look up the docs uh, in SCL for this thing. X, Y, width, height, red, green, blue. So it's like 255, 255, and then alpha. It should be zero or 255, I don't know. But it doesn't do anything in this case. Let's see. Render field wrecked. What is the difference between render field wrecked and wrecked field wrecked? I think we're actually using this thing, create RGB surface. Foreign field wrecked. It doesn't look at all like, what do we see here? FFI C. Oh, there's like a layer in between. They made a layer in between. They didn't do direct bindings. <laughs> Wait, what? Foreign FFI C. Oh, there you go. STLH. So you just renamed everything, I guess. Thanks for obfuscating one additional layer. Did you actually have to do that? That's actually, okay. Set render a dark color. Yeah, so you're using field rect and you're like making some C structure in between. I guess you have to do that? Hmm. I don't like that they renamed it, but they probably had to do that for convenience. Um, so let's look STL render field rect then and see how they uh, cons STL rect. X, Y, width, height, direct. Oh, you should think, oh right, because it's completely imperative, right. You first set the color. Oh, and if it doesn't work, you actually will say and give an error to me. That's actually nice that you do that. It's really nice that we don't see any errors. So the color is fine. Let's actually make this 900 then or something. I don't know what, what color means in SEL terms. It should, if it fails, then it should you know give us an error and I see error. We should see it. Okay. You know, it's int. We can make it as big as we want. It doesn't complain. Is the bot complaining about my spell errors? <laughs> Come on, bot. Hmm. I don't see any errors. He actually entered program, thanks. <laughs> you can't find a color and then you decide to exit the entire program. <laughs> That's nice. I guess fill early, fill often, All right? Fields wrecked. It doesn't do anything. Can we draw anything? Like, let's try another function then, I guess. Maybe that one is just broken or something. Who knows? <laughs> um, let's try drawing something else. Let's like try to draw a line or a polygon or something. Uh, I mean, ellipse is fine as well. Maybe we actually need to call something to to say it should should use the thing we're rendering. And the copy ignores last two arguments. Render texture. We need to maybe use the texture. Data texture. And it render copy. Render present. Maybe I need to do this. <laughs> I guess I'm finding like, like SDL now <laughs> instead of. 
It's just friend of whatever isn't there. Now we clear it first, then we do this stuff. And then we try to render it. So this is like the draw. Okay, let's make another function draw. No. 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 Hmm. <laughs> God damn it. So like window loop will be the function that, that does the uh, pipeline of drawing the application. Like, you know, we need to clear the, the renderer. We need to, you know, draw something and then check if there are any events for keys and whatever. And then draw will be just, you know, putting stuff on screen. Okay, cool. Ah, we have a white box, excellent. This is what I wanted. But this is like being drawn every every frame or whenever it is got Getting told to draw. Actually, come to think of it, it should be told to draw. Hmm. It's just looping forever. Hmm. Now, come to think of it, uh, Polyvent may actually throttle it. I don't know. Oh, whatever. It's fine. Okay, we can draw on screen. Hooray! Um, next step is uh, ellipses, right? We need to have the end bodies. Uh -huh. And then we start to model the entire thing. I actually don't know what the problem is, come to think of it. Probably also need to read up on that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's make a fill ellipse. And we'll make it red. Oh. Okay, I, uh, I'm kind of annoyed by Vim at this point, and let's also open up a better editor. Um, Idris. I should install Idris mode or whatever, but not today. Fundamental, how about that? Um, yeah. Fill the lips. Come to think of it, my webcam is again at a bad position. Okay. Ellipse. Body. Renderer. Uh, fill the lips. Renderer, and then zero zero nine hundred nine hundred. No, 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 no. That's too big. Let's uh, say it's ten ten, and the color will be full full on red, and then zero zero uh, two five five. No syntax highlighting. Yeah. I don't like. Let's wait. Let's wait a bit. We already got better copy pasting. Okay. <laughs> get don't get it too, too greedy. Hey yo, we're actually uh, starting to implement something. Yes, you see, like we, we already can open up a window and whatever. And now at the moment I'm trying to make an ellipse as well. Yeah, we're actually succeeding with Idrix as well. This is an SEL window. <laughs> like, did you, did you, didn't you think we would, we would do it? Yeah, this is working. I was Idrix FFI. Uh, it's pretty good actually. Actually, you know, we didn't have to do write anything. There was already a library for us, and we just depended on the library. So we're using this library. Um, but the thing they do, they're doing is just pretty straightforward, actually. If you look at the source code, they're just calling the C functions, right? Um, so it's pretty, you know, straightforward C. You just call a function, and then this 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 like little function prototype becomes available in um, Iters itself. So you can get do like fill rect here, fill rect, which is just this thing. And the only thing they do is say, okay, it's this this type signature. That's pretty good. It's pretty freaking good. White height. Hmm. Zero. Uh, right, we're placing it on zero zero. Right, we should probably also not do that. We should place it on like ten ten. Then maybe we can see it as well. We'll make the white 10, 10, and the color will be full on red, and then green 0, blue 0. 
Oh, I still don't see it. I have credits for my Ubuntu. Oh, wait, uh, what version are you now on, on then? 19. Oh, you upgraded too, right? Okay. I see, I see. I miss it. You know why this doesn't work? We should do it like this. <laughs> we, we, we put on the entire rectangle above the, the um, body we're rendering. So, yeah. That's some imperative bullshit going on, but we got it! Alright, we have a body. And body problem. Kernel panics, unable to log in. Whoa, wow. Wait, you actually had a kernel panic? Or was it like Exarch? Because if you, if you get... If you are not able to log in, both. That's actually pretty fucking rare. Oh, you, you got a jackpot, man. Both a kernel back and a broken GUI. <laughs> hey, like, if you ever get these uh, upgrade issues, they all hit you at once. It's horrible. Okay, let me... I have to enter a TTI. Well, like, if the kernel panics and you can still enter a TTI, you're lucky. You are lucky. Okay, let's actually look at what the end body problem is. I think it's something to do with gravity or something. I don't know. The six has sovereignty and body simulation is a simulation of dynamical system of particles, usually under influence of physical forces such as gravity. Okay. I guess I read enough. I read enough. Let's make some data. Call it body. How do you make data in Idris? After I try to figure out how to get rid of the kernel panic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. What was the kernel panic then? Like I'm curious. Those are so rare. Um, let's see how to do data in Idris. Oh, well, maybe we can bluff our way through it. Let's just say body is body, and then you know let's let's pretend records exist. And we have like uh, body x, and say it's int. And then we also have a body y, and it's also an int. Maybe we can have trading ints as well. No, you don't like uh, you don't like this, huh? You don't like records. Hmm. Okay, now we need to actually start reading the documentation because we don't know how to do this. So the point you just kind of you know going into the dark, you start reading documentation. <laughs> It's like only if it's extremely necessary you start reading documentation. Yes. Uh, tutorial. Mm, state aware system. No, I don't really care about that. Types and functions, modules, namespaces, tier improving. Hmm. Let's say types and functions. X is 42. Can you make like products? Ah, there you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you have records? After I figured out, uh, kernel, uh, kernel didn't agree with my hardware, I guess. I linked that tutorial, which should be useful. Oh, tutorial, let's see. Help up up? A blessingly fast and modern package manager for. No, this is not a tutorial you linked to, I think. <laughs> uh, packages. He didn't finish reading. Uh, yeah, there are records. You didn't finish reading. I didn't finish reading. I There is a fat chance I didn't finish my reading. Uh, this one, you mean? I may have skipped some things, yes. That's like a common theme about me skipping things. Uh, I mean, can we just Google it? There is records. The data, Google would give me like a little box and say how to do it exactly. Be nice. Records, and, oh, there you go. Records. Oh. Constructor make person. That's like a keyword. First name, middle name, last name are all strings. H is an int. Records are data types. Uh, collect several values to the record fields together. Ears provide syntax for defining records and automatically generating field access with update functions. Unlike the syntax used for data structures, records in Ears follow a different syntax from seen in Haskell, which is my problem. For example, we can represent the following person name and age in a record. Uh, the constructor name is provided using the constructor keyword and the fields are given which are indented block allowing the where keyword. And this is like, you can declare multiple fields in a single line provided that they have the same type. The field names can be used to access the field values. You found the tutorial, I linked yourself. Okay, thanks. <laughs> uh, we can also use the field names to update records. Like I'm reading this because I don't understand. Like I, I want to know if this make person clause can be used for all this stuff. Yeah, apparently. Or maybe part of it. 
No, but I think you need to put in everything. How does it know the position then? Is this just first because it's first? Left for to right? Okay. I guess so. Blocks. First name Fred, yeah. So we introduced another keyword to make a constructor. Okay, let's do that then. Uh, we'll call you... Data party where? Constructor. And I think we need to call this a different name. Because actually we unified, right? Yeah, we unified. Uh, we unified the... We, in either case, we unified the type with terms. So we can't do like Haskell where data body is equal to body. No, 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 not allowed. We need to give things at type and term level different names. Yeah. We need to. Okay. Hmm. Data body where type. Oh, you call it record. Okay. So you just sugar into data. Okay. Um, let's make a random amount of bodies then. Yeah. How do we make random? Hmm. I think I want to make like a random list of bodies. Random. We could just gonna dot it over the screen. You just have random. Effect random. No, I don't really care about effect. I want to just do it in IO, I think. Oh, you are IO. What is an effect? Simple effect. I'm, I'm already in IO, you know. <laughs> I don't need to worry about it. It's like it's the, um, so far you in write programs locally mutable state using the state effect. To recap, we have definitions uh, for the effect state. Wait, what? Console IO is supported with SDO IO effect. What is effect? What do you even do? Um, Pure functional language with dependent types such as either support reasoning about programs directly in the type system. Promise, promising we, that we can program will run correctly yeah, according to the specification of its type. Simply because it compiles. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So this is a... I think this is like a, a monad stack. And we, we don't really care about it we, because we're going to do everything in I.O. Um, I want to avoid that. That's too boring. Yeah, and effect is some use for managing effects, but I don't want to do that right now. That's something for another time. We're going to probably like look at Polysemi for that, but I don't want to do that right now. Like the, the, that, That's just like uh, if you want to make a big ass library, but this is the, just a toy program, right? So not that important. You should still have the base function somewhere, right? Effect random. Mm. It's kind of annoying this shows up. Are they entire, intending to make the entire thing based on effects? Because we already have I.O. Where's base? I'm just looking for like the standard library somewhere. Hmm. Lips probably. Like, do you know any better way of... Oh, there you go. Thanks. Uh, concurrency, we don't care about that. Language reflection, debug, data. You would have random, right? Oh, Octotree. Control IO accept. Uh, you put in a bunch of monads. Maybe they didn't do random. <laughs> we can make our own random number generator though. Yeah, we can do that, I guess. It's kind of a shitty way of doing it, but. Or we make like an uh, FFI binding with uh, URANT. Mm. We can just look how it's implemented in the effects thing. <laughs> Seal it from there. Either is random. Try again. Random. They're actually doing it. <laughs> Get random. Okay, what am I looking at? Implementation handler random m. The git uh, type, or uh, like uh, the GitHub syntax highlighting doesn't really work well. It doesn't know about the implementation. Make effect integer random. Or maybe uh, if I can just run this thing, I'll be fine with it as well. Let's actually look how to just run the effect. I, I bet you can just run it in IO. Oh, there you go, run. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that hard. Um, let's get, make a random number then and print it to the console. Baby steps, right? Uh, let's see. We want to depend on effect random. Effect random. There you go. And then I want to set the random seed. No, we don't care about that. 
Uh, select a random element from a list, or nothing if the list is empty. Hello, Lumi, what's up? Welcome to Idris. Uh, yeah, we can do that. I guess we can do it later. Like, a lot of people are complaining about it, though. I'm like, just, just try it out first before we make it all fancy. <laughs> Idris is fun. Yeah. It is. Maybe. I don't know. I've, uh... It's pretty... Uh, it's it's surprisingly challenging to open up an STL window, but we can do it now. We can do it. This is STL in Idris. <laughs> you know, that's why you use Idris, right? To, to make STL bindings. Okay, you just said. That would be my reasoning. God damn it. I'm just gonna do it, okay? Make you guys shut up. <laughs> It is mode Emacs. Okay. Thanks. Generates a random integer in a given range. That's what we want, right? We want to run that. Zero, hundred. No, we, we have a window height and uh, size, right? So let's say like a window um, width is... 100 and you're an int and window height is also 100 or something i don't know i forgot how big it is we should probably define that and then use that to generate the ints hmm but the other thing about idris is oh it's 400 500 okay okay so with 400 height 500 i think We need to actually put these things above uh, the function where we use it. That's like an iterative thing. <laughs> so it's uh, kind of like scripting languages, right? You need to put the, thi the things, you need to declare it first, and then you can use it. That's it's not like Haskell where it's used everywhere. That's kind of weird, but yeah. Okay, draw a render. Wait, what? I'm checking draw. Oh, dollar sign. Right, maybe we don't have that. RNG int. Let's put string line that. String line. Can we do use dollar signs? Maybe. We need to use it again. No, we probably can't. Probably fix that as well. To show that. Do we have semi group? Hmm. You don't know about show. Operator without known fixity. Diamond. Okay, um, it is semi group. <laughs> no, stay focused and it keeps on telling about more cool tools. <laughs> um, semi group is plus, apparently. Yeah, so we can use that then. Is, that... is there show as well? Just ignore what I'm saying. You just, uh, just say it for the audience, then, I guess. Um, it is show. What is this? Why are, why are there movies? It was language. Show. Why are there movies? Show. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's too unpopular. Google doesn't know about... Uh, it to have more usage, huh? <laughs> Maybe it's like, just, okay, Google is like, okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but I can give you advertisements. <laughs> That's probably the solution there. Uh, show interface. Oh, it, it does exist. And they actually call it interface and implementation. That's actually really nice. They renamed it from type class to interface. I love that. That should like remove a bunch of confusion for people. Okay. No such variable run. Right, we need to also import effects. Can't, imp can't find import effect. Um... I thought it was like in core. The effects tutorial. Import effects. Oh, just effects, not effect. How? Oh. Really? How annoying. 
Okay, now we should have a random number. So let's just like, oh, we already printed it, right? So now if we start this program, we should get every second or something, a random number into the console. And it's always the same. God damn it. Does effect import random? Uh, it already worked. Maybe we have a delay? Hmm, I don't think so, but... Okay. Um, so we don't have random numbers yet. Why? You're running an IO, right? I know, we need to, we need to carry, we need to carry the, the result. Do we have fixed po- God damn it. <laughs> I just realized what I want to do and it's really fucking annoying. So we need to see the random effect because it's actually running in its own little world. Yeah. So we want to do this. Basically. Like, the clever people would know that you can't actually do this without, you know, rec. So we, we, we need to have, like, recursive do in um, Idris. I'm not gonna get the recursive do. I realized that. Uh, Idris mfix. <laughs> what is this result? <laughs> yeah. Let's not do that. Let's just let's just see that like this then. And return also also an int. No, actually let's let's do this outside. Let's just do this on boot. Yeah, let's do this on boot. Yeah. It just has a sensible syntax. It's not about syntax in this case. Um, I need to... I need to, like, every time I use the, the random thing, I need to reseed the function, I think, with the previous value. It's not keeping track of whatever it used before, for some reason. That's why we get, get, get out a bunch of 11s, instead of, you know, random values. So I'm just, like, trying out some things and see how it works. Can we do use the dollar sign like this? It's draw is to apply to our many too many arguments. All right, draw. Getting the types to work may be hard hard though. Uh no, this is need to traverse right. <laughs> so you know this is like thirty six, and now we just need to. It's a fold basically. It's fold m I guess. Um, shitty fault. Maybe we could just use recursion for that. Uh, random numbers. We'll give it like an initial seed, seed, and then we'll return a list of uh, int. Can we make it infinite? No, we can't make it infinite. That's also annoying. Let's just, like, do 10 or something. We'll seed it by x. Get some random value out. Out. And then... Do it again. Out. Res. Pure. Res. Out. This doesn't work, this, this never stops. So we also need to limit it, how, how deep it goes. With another int. Depth. Um, depth minus one, right? Zero. Oh, right, we need to return here now. Pure. X. There you go. This probably doesn't compile though. Unexpected type signature. Right, because you need to have one. I'm too Haskell-y. When checking type main random numbers, uh, can't disambiguate since there's no no name suitable f a suitable type. Facts.n, prelude list, colon, colon. What are you talking about, man? 
I'm checking uh, argument rest to function IO. Can this ambiguate since no name has a suitable type? What? What does this mean? Oh, you, you don't like these square brackets or something. How do you make a list in Idris? Good question. So yeah, we're just trying to make a random uh, list of random integers, right? <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. Oh, there's just, it's, it's called list. Okay. Well, there you go. Just put it into IO again. How do you even use a list? I think those square brackets are something else. Uh, yeah. So we can just use random numbers now. We'll start at 10 and then get like a list of 10 random numbers. And with some random seed. This should just work, right? Um, right, you're, you're not pure. You need to be pure, pure. Pure, pure. Integer. What's the difference between int and integer? As rent. Oh, you, you're expecting integers instead of ints. That's fine. Pure dot pure. No, 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 no. Not allowed. I don't think Idris can do it. Okay. Let's do... Well, I think it can, but... Let's fix... Um, like, let's do point free after we actually finish the compile errors. <laughs> so let's see, what does this even mean? When checking the right-hand side of the random numbers with the expected type list int, when checking the applicable function random as rand, you actually want to have an integer instead of an int. Okay, okay, we can do that. It wants to be seeded with an integer instead of an int. Uh, now the result type of that is... Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay, this needs to be empty list. Empty. We can ignore you. Thanks. Good point. Uh, we, like, this was the seed, and I, why should I return the seed? That's crazy. We, the, seed, the seed is not a random number. <laughs> the seed is just a seed, right? Okay. When checking the right-hand side of random numbers with expected type IO list int, type mismatch between list int, effects m IO rent R and D. What? Come to think of it, you could just be an effect, right? Types are the best, yes. <laughs> Look at how much information I got from this. Wow! Can you Python do this? Look at this. Look at it. So when checking the right hand side of random number, just IO list int. I want to know what this actually means before I try doing something else. It tells you precisely what to do. Yes. Well, it tells, it tells me this code is bad. This code is bad. Oh, I know. <laughs> this is inside the, the run block, but that's not allowed. No, 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 We want to seat you. We want to generate the rest outside of the run block. In another do block. And then... Oh, that's out. We want to put out in there, right? Out will be the next seat. And we put out as next seat. And the result, which is like a list of previous calls. So like this thing was IO and this thing is actually expecting a fact. So the, the monads got up mixed. <laughs> so they should fix that, I think. When checking the right hand side of random numbers with expected type, IO list int. Right, we can't like make lists like this. We just need to make it pure. So out is... Integer type of out. Expected type is int, but you're actually producing an integer. So we also need to make the out an integer. Okay, we made the integers line up. Excellent. Let's see if this works. Okay, we have a random list. Hooray! <laughs> Why the first for 99? Well, it does work after a while. What about the second time? Is it still? Yeah, because we, we, started, we started to seed with, with 10. What if we do like 11? But that's depth. Uh, 23, huh? What if we make it 22? I want to have a better seed, more random seed. That's also, it's all 86. What? Isn't random at all. Maybe the range is too small or something. Let me keep it in like 1000. No, but I want to keep it inside the, the screen wise. 
window height or window width. How do I cast these things? <laughs> it is. There's like a hoogle, right? That you guys told me. There's a hoogle for Idris. No, you didn't tell me. Oh, type direct is first. Um, so we need to go from int to integer. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, oh, oh what am I doing? Oh, actually, that works. Cool. Hmm. Oh, it's from the, the REPL. That's annoying. I thought it was like a website. Hmm. Oh, search, right? Integer, no, int to integer. Uh, cost. There's a cost. <laughs> Potentially lossy cost operation. Well, there you go. That's actually also an improvement that they call cost because that's what you that's what you want to do. <laughs> cost. It's like what you think about. I like the improvements they made to like learnability and whatever. It's surprising actually. I thought it was kind of hard to learn Idris, but I haven't had any issues yet. Like that Monet mix up was a bit weird, but it's not big, um, really that difficult. I think last time I looked at Idris, it didn't have interface, but called it a class. But it has been a while. Yeah, they call it interface now. It's, it's really good. Like now we're getting more random numbers. So maybe we just got lucky last time. I don't know. It seems weird though. Like what is the chance to get like the same number three times or something? It's like really unlikely, right? But no, now we're getting random numbers. Okay, cool. So let's dot the screen with um, the end bodies, you know, the end bodies. Yeah. Hmm. So I want to make, I guess like the actual width I want to put in should also be an argument to this function. Uh, which is also an int. Thanks. Uh, max. But we can ignore it here. I can just cast that. And then we can just uh, create some end body count. Let's see. And body count like thirty or something. Uh, what are you complaining about? And the numbers out. Oh right here as well. Right. You need to you need to give in max to the next layer of recursion. I actually like the type uh, the type errors are pretty good. I think like I didn't expect it to be this good. Like I usually configure them out. They also point out which part of the code is wrong. It's really good. By the way, the fact that Idris can do arbitrary I.O. in its type checking mechanism together with syntax directive should make it as powerful as full-on macros in Lisps. It can do I.O. in its type checking? It, it can do like template? Wow! Wait, what? I feel I'm doing Idris wrong. <laughs> That's what you have with the dependent types. You can do type to fire this. Yes! Skybro says. Yeah, so it's like Template Haskell? You can do it with Template Haskell as well, right? So why is Idris not that popular then? I wonder. This looks pretty good to me, at least. It's not. Template Haskell is not integrated with type checking. I mean, it's kind of fun, actually. <laughs> why didn't I make my startup in Idris? What the hell? What's wrong with me? <laughs> you can use... How do I still have this open? <laughs> How long was that open? <laughs> hmm. Template Haskell is not integrated in type checking. It is, and some integrated macro systems in Lisp. You can use types during macro expansion. In Template Haskell, you cannot. It's just an AST as input. Hmm. That's pretty cool. So, RNG widths. And then we do heights as well. And then the 10 should be the numbers of um, end body count, I think. 
should be 10. And then we can just, you know, make the bodies, I guess. Make body. So, you know, you just do like width and then apply to heights and you get bodies. And maybe we can show those as well. I don't know. Let's see if this works. Can this ambiguate since no name has a suitable type? By the way, with all this set, it's certainly not as easy as Lisp macros to do these arbitrary things. You still have to make types work, which is not easy. But it's like, like what am I doing wrong then? <laughs> Or like I'm probably just because I'm meddling around a lot in IO, <laughs> which is you know baby mode. Hmm. Can this ambiguate since no name has a suitable type? Oh, you don't know what you mean, because effects also has star. Oh. No, we did disambiguate when checking x to argument. To function show show can it can I do like deriving show in body? There is deriving. Wait, what? Deriving show. Deriving. It's a little bit of reflection usually. So, so what I want to do is like make a show function for the body, so we can actually you know show them. Um, and one way to do that, in, you know, in Haskell, you would normally do this with uh, deriving show, like you put put it below this. But uh, I don't know how to do this for Idris, so I'm just like looking that up. Uh, and they say like, okay, they use the elaborator syntax, which is like template Haskell or something. Elaborator reflection how about that. And this is like code generation for two strings. Uh, well, not only for two strings, but you could use it. For, I use it a lot for two strings. Yeah, this doesn't look right. They say something else here. I don't know, this is, looks pretty recent. 2018, yeah. Labradata state contains if okay, running a labrador scripts. Mm, I don't know. The right thing. Let's just try adding it or something. I don't know. Maybe it's like a keyword. Quotation. Oh, we can just make our own show implementation then, I guess. How do you even do that? Uh, implementation. How did you know? Body. Uh, no, show. For body. And then we get like show uh, body x, y. And this should be a string. So we can just, you know, show x. x. Show Y. Make body. Hmm. I can't cat with empty string. Never. Oh. <laughs> yes. No type declaration for implements. Hmm. I saw I saw it somewhere, right? It implements. I don't know where. I saw some implement stuff later. Oh, there you go. Implementation handler random. Okay. So that is correct. But we should also say where. And now you don't like show. <laughs> right, it doesn't know about Idris. Google only knows about advertisements. <sighs> okay, let's just look at the source code then, I guess. I don't know what else to do. It's just effects, right? 
Oh, this is Idris Dev. We need to have uh, Idris Cora or something. Idris Language GitHub. Oh, it is Dev. Okay. Um, in lib base, what would you call show? System, maybe. Syntax, debug, utils. I don't know. The other thing we can do is like search. Oh, let's actually search. How about that? Search for show. <laughs> How about A to string? Too many arguments. Right, you need to actually not evaluate this, but search. Why are you finding false if, you, if I'm searching for show? Try to show egg. Mm. It's not helping me at all. I just want to have the type signature of it. I actually know, right? It's just this to string. Why doesn't it compile? Maybe you don't like this. Oh, it's make body. What am I doing? That actually works. Okay, cool. Now we have a show instance. So it's failing on some other stuff. It's failing on this this applicative. Can I like rename it or something? Like I already tried adding the entire thing, but it didn't do anything. How do I make applicative, you know, be unique? Um database disambiguate. That's a good win. dependent types google you're not helping at all like it's horrible i wish there was like a better search engine i wish there was a better search engine but uh yeah how do i how do i deal with this thing maybe we can like hiding it from effects let's try it hiding star maybe you can import it qualified Hmm. Unexpected record, but oh, you don't know about hiding. <laughs> uh, let's just look the documentation for imports in Idris. It's very exciting. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you have docs, modules, and namespaces. Uh, export modifiers, private, export public. Meaning, how do I import though? I really care about. Does it name say spaces? What the fuck does it mean? Modules, export modifiers. Import it some different way. Private. How do I how do I make it like qualified or how do I hide it? I found this of ick. We already have show, right? It already works. It looks very complicated. Oh, didn't work. Of deriving, okay, okay. Yeah, maybe it's like some, some work in progress. I think I didn't copy the entire link or something. Mm. I don't know, like... <laughs> deriving is such a useful mechanism. Like, you do it all the time. And if you have to implement all the manual shows, it's just a fucking waste of time, right? They're not... Like, it's code you write that's, that's not really... It's usually for debugging. Like, it, it, it's 99% of the time debugging. So you don't want to spend a lot of time on that, I think. So if you don't have a proper deriving mechanism, then you clearly you're not a competitor to Haskell at all. At least in my view. This is... Oh, this is it. Oh my god. Oh, this is... I, I was looking for it. Where is it? Where is it? But I'm looking at it. Okay. I see. I see what you're getting at. <laughs> wow. Oh, but it's like... This the entire generic... <laughs> yeah. This is it's like generic, right? It walks over the entire um, data type. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Um, let's keep on looking for... What was I looking for? How to hide this thing. And we can import qualified effects. It's... Can't find import qualified. God damn it. So, like, the export modifier... This thing, just modules and namespaces, it completely talks about how to export modules, but it doesn't talk how to import modules. Could someone tell me how to import thing? No, we could probably, it's probably better to look at his code for imports. Maybe he also had the same problem, probably. No, it's all fine. Okay, that's, that's bad. Where's my alcohol tree? It was death. Maybe they have it in, probably in lips and base, right? 
Access. Public export. I don't know what it means. The gist is four years old. Yeah, but I, I, I um, there's more code that's like looking outdated and uh, still works. I think the ST no, the STL is pretty recent actually. Export. Hmm. Access public export. I don't... Oh, they're like telling if the module is publicly available or not or something. Hmm. Yes, the import system. Uh, I wasn't looking at this right. I already had module. Let's look at import. Frequently asked questions. I doubt this in there. They, they have frequently asked questions which don't look frequent at all to me. And even told me how to run a program. Commanding state aware systems. Interfaces, modules, and namespaces. Import P3. Meaning for data types. For data types, the meanings are. What is the meaning? Hmm. What is the meaning? What is the meaning? How do you. F no, let's just do something. <laughs> um. Prelude applicative star. Since no name has a suitable type. It's app as well, right? Let's actually look at up the definition of prelude applicative star. Maybe data applicative. No, it's control, right? Arrow, monad. You call applicative data or control. Hmm. I get I get how people got stuck on this. The elaborator reflector is really powerful. You can create type expressions there in the program and ask the compiler to fill in the holes or do type directed search. <laughs> to find new functions, data types. What the fuck? Wait, what? You can create type expressions there in the program and ask the compiler to fill in the holes. <laughs> Hmm. Once you create them, you can use them immediately. It's not face separated. I'm really upset by this. Why? Oh, they're prelude. Oh, I found prelude. Cool, cool, cool. Prelude. Okay, cool. We found it. What What did I want to do then? <laughs> you know, the fact that Effects also uses uh, prelude probably means that they did some magic to import public. I hate you effect, why did you do this? What does it mean if you import public? You didn't even specify anything about that. You're clashing with it. Effect default. What does that mean? Effect default. Access public export. This is data default. Did you actually make a data default? Could you? It's all the things I love about Clojure basically. Now please just make it work and easy. <laughs> I'm trying to make it work. I just like don't know how the module system works. I don't know the words. Like the, the syntax to make it, well, let's try to make it public. I don't know what it means, public. Probably means that you re-export everything inside effect. Qualified. Can't find qualified. Um, how would I find this module stuff? How would you resolve name class? Like maybe we, we can Google that. Resolve name slash iteris. Improved model resolution when encountered modules with the same name. That's not my issue. Name collision. But can you tell me how to make things qualified? It mostly was meant to, as Idris looks like a work in progress prototype with no ecosystem yet. Yes, it is. <laughs> but I'm also trying to make it work. <laughs> um, there is a little bit. Actually, there is an ecosystem. I, I'm, I kid you not, there is an ecosystem. I'll show you. There is Idris modules. There are bindings. It's like Electron set even. You, you can make Electron apps with Idris. If, if you fancy. <laughs> so you know, you could rewrite visual code in Idris if you want. <laughs> There's Lens. There's like a lot of stuff. The issue is that there is like no hackage around or, you know, Google. It has a JavaScript backend. <laughs> Are you telling me that this, this could compile to JavaScript as well? I'm just like, I have this really simple question. How do I... Maybe you should ask on Stack Overflow, come to think of it. How do I make a qualified import? How do I make this not clash? And it doesn't, like, I can't just do prelude applicative. How do I even have this? 
This doesn't work. You know, maybe we should actually put it into lead binding or something. And say that this is a list of bodies. to too many arguments. Wait, what? No, no, no. We should, like, this is the default way of organizing, organizing this stuff, right? First you do this, and then you do that. I shouldn't have to... I knew it was... knew that, but I think it wasn't good at all. Gotcha. Very long backends. Can also do Python. It has backends for everything. Wow. Well, that's if you if you write your language in Haskell, it should be quite easy to do. You know, make different backends. And again, you wrote your your language in Haskell, so you're stuck to the Haskell tooling. <laughs> Why would you have an Erlang backend? PHP. <laughs> PHP, PHP, PHP. <laughs> There's a PHP backend for Idris. I know about it apparently. I don't think this is allowed. This is a small language. Let's be specific about this. Random numbers and body count. Window width. No, you should be window height, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Haskell's massive. Like a large syntax tree as well. Hmm. I don't know what to... Can we have lead bindings in Adris? I don't think so. I guess I can make a function out of this. Uh, make bodies. Let's actually do this. I so we do like list integer, list integer, and out comes the list of body, right? Then we just put in this this function. Uh, make bodies. Aren't you white height? There is mutual lets, I think, but you need to declare mutual reference points. I just like I, I added more type signatures because I don't know why why it was breaking. I, th I thought maybe maybe it's like trying to infer something and doing it wrong. And if I look at this, it actually looks like that. So now we're very explicit about what we're getting right. We're getting a list of integers, we're getting a list of integers, and we, we're using this stuff. And it's not happy about it. But a list is a monad. <laughs> so, you know, we don't need to do this stuff. We can just do like with... Height. This is, yeah. This is the same thing. And you want to have integers instead of ints. Okay, we can we can cast you. That's fine. Can't cast from integer to int. Maybe we need to round you. No such variable round. Um, it is. Uh, we can search, right? We can search. What am I doing? And we, we need to want to go from integer to int. From integer, okay. There you go, this works. Uh, let's test it out. Yeah, this may be a Cartesian product of the two, to think of it. I probably should zip it instead, and then do it. Hmm. 
Mutable ref. I don't know what it is. Mutable references. Mutable. Mutable. Mutable references. Hmm. Okay, that's better. So because we use zip, um, they get aligned to each other like how we wanted to. And if we use the monad, they get like multiplied with each other. Like you go to the one list and to the second list, and you line out all of them up into a Cartesian product. So that's why I did that. And now we have random positions for the bodies. Let's um. Yeah, I guess we could just use that. Let's uh, draw this on the screen then. Bodies. Uh, yeah, maybe we're gonna throw this into window loop. Window loop. You got a list of bodies. This is your state. We're gonna mutate that. Body. Bodies. I'm gonna draw them. Uh, which is also a list of bodies. And then body, you know, wants to draw a body, a single body. So just get a body. We'll just traverse over them. Traverse. Body, render. Bodies. There you go. First of all, you need to have the body here. I'm probably going to destructure this. So we need those values. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff that's broken. Um, 29, field wrecked. Oh, you're returning a list. Right, 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 right. We don't want that. And we need to do void. What's this? 61. Right, your arguments need to be flipped in window looped because we're doing that. Let's actually not do that. Um, bind stuff. Let's just, you know, get the initial render out. Initial render. Okay, cool. And then list body IO. Oh right, because the window loop itself also calls itself, of course. So we need to give the bodies. And actually what we can do is also make like an update here. Um, yeah, let's actually make an update. Update will get like a list of bodies. And then uh, update it, right? With new values. Uh, at the moment it's just it. But we will at some point implement this as well. <laughs> at some point. Really. And this is where we do like the end body problem itself. This is like the core of the program. Problem. Simulation. It's just a tick. So now we should render them. Right, we didn't actually render them. Good point! We should render them. Um, so we need to destruct your own body. We could just make body for that. Make body X, Y. This will just be this, right? With that, we can render them. I wonder if they're off screen. No, you can't resize. But this is random positions, right? Uh, they're always the same because we uh, we seeded it and we can't get an actual random value out. But you know, random positions here. And if we change the initial random seed, for example, we put this to 20 and you to 19. Or 29. Right, we still need to compile. We'll get a new position. <laughs> like this! <laughs> Very random. Very random. Uh, I don't... What? How, how do you even get these? I like the other ones better. Let's, let, let's turn it back. But, uh, yeah. So... That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hmm... So how would you make like this? How how would you get get this get the physics out of this thing? Would you just go over the entire um, thing and calculate like the center point of gravity and move everything to, towards that for a bit? Yeah, that seems reasonable. I don't know. Like we can just move everything to the center, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, they should have speed as well, then, I guess. Velocity, maybe a weight. Lots of properties. Hmm. I should actually commit first, come to think of it. We have a lot of progress. <laughs> I 
think. We learned a fair bit about Idris. You still don't know how to deal with modules and how to import things. Like, I got stuck on that for a long while, but what do you do? Uh, there are some IDs. Thanks. Are you not trusted, Andrew? Like, I'll trust you. Uh, Andrew from Marcel. I think you are often around. But I can still see the link, so don't worry about it. And body problem. Oh, some ideas for it, for solving it, I guess. Or, you know, possible solutions. It's not really a problem. It's just like a simulation thing, I guess. And prob problem is an inherent feature of physical description of mechanical systems and interacting objects. The system is described by Newton's law. Direction, force direction equals the mass. And what is the... It's probably not diameter, right? Why don't you define... <laughs> you didn't actually define the letters. That's... Oh yeah, maybe you are. No, you're not. Hmm. We didn't define the letters. I mean, maybe it's like so obvious that you know these letters. <laughs> maybe diameter or something? Weight? Who knows? I, I guess this is mass. Squared and then R. Who knows what R is? R direction at least. Like it's a vector. We know that with the arrow. I is like number of thing. Yeah, that's not equal to 1 to n. Uh, I... <laughs> but <laughs> you would say the force is equal to the object? Mm. It's a derivative. Okay. Uh, T is time. Okay, I see. Sum of uh, excess formulation on the first me a mechanical problem is given. Initial coordinates of velocities t is equal to 1. To find coordinates and velocities at t. t is equal to t subscript 0. With accuracy more than given relative value of. As well known from physical background only, the choice of n is equal to 2 can be analytically solved. Okay. Oh, it becomes uh, chaotic if you have more than 2. That's interesting. It actually also means that our solar system is chaotic. Uh, think about that for a bit. Uh, okay, so we can now render the bodies in question. I'm actually happy I did this, like this um, SEL binding stuff. I didn't think that Idris would be useful for anything. And like, on a bit of an investigation, I realized you could actually do stuff with it. <laughs> Which is really cool. Um, I mean, it like makes it more exciting for me, at least. You know. And now let's get into the actual math of this thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do this. This looks too complicated. Well, maybe not. Uh, mouse. Mm. You just iterate over the entire thing, right? And then do this calculation stuff. I don't know how to get a D. I don't know how to get a D. Can do like body, bodies. What's up, buddy? What are we doing? Let's get out of body. Body of bodies. And now let's update it. Hmm. I'm thinking like, okay, we can we can just um, hmm. oh, we at least need to store the the mass of the thing, and we also need to store body mass. Hmm. Velocity. <coughs> Which is, you know, body uh, Vx and body Vy. Valve, Val X. Body Val Y. Uh, this stuff is probably all floats. Maybe doubles. Let's actually simulate this first. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, naughty naughty to make more random numbers and then we need to init uh, we need to make bodies out of them. So it's going to be challenging. I guess like a body mask can always be the same for everyone. Hmm. Yeah, probably. And body velocity x and body velocity y can also be just zero, I guess, in the initial things. 
What if they, okay, what if you go outside? If you go outside, you probably get uh, to the other side of the thing. It's like a tor tor toroid, you know, in a donut shape. <laughs> it's a donut shape and you can uh, skate on, on the inside of the donut. That's the idea. If you just like take the window and then fold it over and then bend it over, that's the idea. So if you go to this side of the screen and you end up in this side of the screen. Do, 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 do. Yeah. So, zero, zero, zero. Excellent. We now have mass body renderer. Oh, right. We also pattern matching on the body renderer, huh? You don't really care about that, though. Hmm. Let's call you body then and use the accessor functions. Body X and body Y. Body. There you go. Hmm. The show is also broken. Oh, that's a good point. Probably also want to make this. Eh, I don't really care about it anymore. Let's comment it out, I guess. I don't know. I can just use body X, body Y, I guess. Okay, we got it. So now we have velocity hmm. and mass. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is find the center point of mass. And then we just add a little bit of velocity towards that. Uh, but what we can do is just get the previous center point of, of mass and move that now. And then meanwhile also calculate the next center point of mass. That sounds so weird. I mean, then you only have to iterate over it once. Let's not do game premature optimizations. Let's just make a crappy implementation that works. Yeah. That, that would mean like iterating over twice, I think. So, yeah. Like, let's find center point of mass first. Mass center. List of body. To. What are you? Float, huh? Or double, maybe. Find to the point of mass. Just a body. And yes, you're a double. Okay, cool. Okay. How do you do that? I mean, you need to count how far you are in a list. And then, you know, like if you go the first one, then that's the center point. And then if you add another object to that, you need to add that position half of that to the center point. It becomes the center of those two things. And you add another thing to it, and it becomes the center of those two things. So you need to add like a third of that, those values. And then that becomes the center point. Yeah, like that. So, I do need to have a count then. You can fold over it though. How yeah, do you fold an address? Fold. Um, uh, center funk, I don't know, I don't know what, what to call this thing, but we get at least like an int, which is the index of what we whatever we have, we get like the body uh, in question, and then out of this comes, uh, not a body, it's a double, hmm, actually maybe this will also be double then, no it's not a double, it's a, it's a vector. We also need to count though. So we need to have two things. We need to have the count. And we need to have a, a vector of um, center point. Okay, and we just assume everything is the same weight, I guess. <laughs> That's such a dumb assumption, but that keeps it a bit simpler for now. And maybe we can just delete mass for now. Just assume everything is weight one. And then out, yeah, you need to output this entire tuple, but we're not really interested in the index because that's just, you know, the list. Undefined. Let's fix the compile errors first. Uh, type mismatch, make body. Make body. There you go. I think that's the only constructor we use. Yeah, not sure, not, no such variable fold. So we want to have a fold L, I think. Uh, in case of iterus, because it's strict. Fold L. I'm just gonna put you in. Put it in. 
and the initial value will be zero. 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 Right, and you need to output, not double, you need to output double double. I guess you can be in tuple as well then, and then it's easier to return. Can you say, uh, second. I don't know about undefined, huh? How about error? You don't have partial type signatures. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. We get the current int, uh, which is like x. If you're a zero, you can ignore you and just return whatever make body has, whatever body has, which will be one uh, body x body. Body Y, body, cost. We need to cost these two doubles. Because they're in integ integers now. Okay. So that's like the first step, right? If the index is zero, we just do this. But if not, we need to do something else. Um, we call you X. Pref X, pref Y. And then we need to add, we need to divide by x. We need to divide both sides by x, right? We need to divide by two. Oh, I need to divide one by, what the fuck, what do I need to do? My, my index is all, uh, one, I want to have half, half. Like, I want to add, I want to have half of the last one and half of the current one. If my index is three, I want to add one third of the new value and I want to keep two thirds of the old value. If my index is four, I want to have one fourth of the new value and three fourths of the previous value. Okay, okay. So we need to divide one over x for the new one. I have like a where block. New uh, fraction is x one divided by x x. It's a new value. And pref is uh, one minus fraction. So if if uh, if it's two, it will be half, and this will be half. If it's three, this will be the one third, and this will be two third. If it's four, this will be a quarter, and this will be uh, three quarters. Yeah, that's what I want. So we can multiply them pref file with um, pref x. It's like pref x times uh, pref val pref y times pref val. Okay, and then plus the new file, right? Fraction new uh, old pref pref frac. How about pref frac instead of pref val? So, like, if you get more uh, bodies, the update becomes smaller. I think this is how it works. Uh, yeah, so it's fraction times. And it's like this stuff, right? What do you X? What do you Y? It's just a big, big multiplication thing, I guess. Hmm. This is the dumb solution, I guess. But works. Sort of. Forty. Ah, yeah, it needs to be cost as well. Cost. Uh, one tucking application of function preload interfaces type mismatch. Oh, it's a fraction. You want to be cost here as well. I wouldn't know about completion. You can have impartial functions apparently. Uh, apparently, you also have variable blocks. That's nice. I, I really like using those. 
This is a bit of a mess, forgive me. Hmm. Make this look nicer. Oh, just put it on the new lines, I guess. That That's actually, that looked nice. Okay, so now we know the center of the thing. Yeah, we know it. We have it out of this thing. Uh, so we can just do that, right? Where... Center X... Center Y... Is equal to find mass center... What is? Oh, this is also strict. Huh. Interesting. Now we need to update towards that. So the velocity needs to move that. Actually, what do we do with velocity? We don't have time, right? We don't have time. We didn't even think about that. Uh, let's forget about time. Uh, let's just imply time with whatever tick we're updating at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we can do like body X. We need to actually up we need to do a record update. Come to think of it. Hmm. Record update. Like first of all, we need to modify the velocity with uh, to move towards the center of mass. And secondly, we need to apply the velocity to current position. And thirdly, we also need to check if they they are outside of the bounds. Uh, let's actually ignore that last thing for now, and we'll make, we'll add it in later. Hmm. Actually, end body is kind of easy, I think. I, I didn't expect this to be finished so soon. Like, it just looks a lot like Haskell, I guess. I haven't even done any of the type level stuff. Hmm. And we should solve end queen's problem as well. On type level. What am I looking for? What am I doing? Oh, record updates, right. Uh, getting started. Laziness. In the fact that you even need to an untype. Records, there you go. Oh, you can update it like this, okay. Cool. Oh, we can use field names to update a, re a record or more precisely produce a copy of the record and give an updates. Oh, you have like a record function for that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Let's do that. So I need to record. Uh, body X. That's probably the hardest one. Let's do velocity first. Hmm. That's like mass times time squared. Let's assume that time is one, that mass is one. So velocity is... No, what am I talking about? Let's uh, look that up actually. Newton's law for velocity update. Did you describe that? <laughs> actually, this is sum of j is not equal to... I couldn't think of it. Like, oh no, that's that's something else. Like, you could also do uh, Einstein's way of and body, which also includes uh, velocity itself as like uh, extra energy. If you have more velocity, then you have more energy, so you become more heavy. Something. Hmm. Never mind that. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's update velocity first. I just don't. I forgot how to. Assume this is mass of object. Yeah, Newton's law. They don't recognize it's R. I wish they would explain the, f the letters. Uh, planetary problem, center body, and body. Why do they make it so hard to read? Let's just look for Newton's law, I guess. That's the one we want, right? Newton's law of motion. The nice thing about old science is that it's easy. <laughs> Uh, sum of f. Newton's second law. The rate of change of momentum of a body is directly proportional to the force applied to it. And the change of the momentum takes place in the direction of the applied force. We don't have directions. We do! Oh fuck, we have directions. Let's throw this out actually. Let's throw this. Akrita? Hmm. Let's quickly draw this. I am a body here. I am a body. I don't like, and we know that the center of mass is somewhere, you know, here. Okay, so I need to know my current position. No. Hmm. I want to apply some force into that direction, right? Maybe something like this. If I'm farther away from the center, should I be actually uh, getting more force or less force from the center of gravity? Like, what if I'm here? 
Maybe you should be getting like lots of fours then. It's a physics stream now, yes. Except a crappy physics stream because I don't know anything about physics. <laughs> like it's so long ago that I actually did something with physics. Um I don't like I don't get a lot of information from these things. I don't know what the fucking D is. Why didn't you explain the fucking letters, man? <laughs> they were free der uh, he said it was a derivative. Impulse. I like I vaguely remember some of this. This is delta. Oh, I like that one. Let's change. <laughs> Mass delta V. <laughs> what would you do? I think if you're closer, you should be going fast towards that. If you're farther away, you should go less fast towards that. Calculate the center point, and then we calculate the distance to that. Physics is mostly just useful lies anyway. Yeah, kind of annoying that physicists use their own language slightly different from notation than math. Useful lies? How about that? What? <laughs> I've never heard it about physicists. <laughs> uh. Actually, it's kind of funny because most of them use a... Yeah, maybe you're talking about the fact that they use Newton still. <laughs> and it's um, completely obsolete. But uh, we don't want to deal with Einstein. He doesn't program to useful lies, yes. <laughs> yes. You really need type safety. Hmm. That multiverse is really cool. I just saw it in the corner of my eyes. You know, let's say we have a bunch of bodies. There you go. Mm. And then these should be going a little bit towards that, right? But if you have a couple of ones that are closer, like here, they should go a lot to it. Oh my god, <laughs> errors are not correct. It's on the center. How annoying. The tree body problem is a Newtonian problem. There's a tree body problem. Well, my problem is that I'm doing too many bodies, I guess. Um, this section relates a historical important n body problem solution after simplifying assumptions were made. In the past, not much was known about the n body problem for n is bigger than or equal to 3. Yeah, n body is. Oh, okay, it is Newtonian. So we're 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 looking at the right things at least, uh, according to uh, Andrewsel. Real, that's good. <laughs> it's kind of annoying if you look at the wrong documentation. Identical inertia. I have seen this before. Velocity divided by time. Inertia is the resistance of any physical. Oh, we don't have that. We don't do that. Hmm. I'm making a mess of things. Let's not make a mess of things. Okay, let's see. How do you calculate? Okay, let's just, you know, move into the direction a little bit. We don't we don't know if it's right, but we're just gonna do something, okay? Um Yeah. So we know for a fact that we can't just assign this. That's that's crazy. We wanna reduce it. I we wanna make like a like an angle, I guess. I wanna I wanna know the difference with my current X. That's like a body that's my body. What is my current position? What's my current position? Uh, the difference from the center of mass, and that's how we how we get this air, this these lines, right? And we need that to calculate like the change arrow. Yeah. Yeah. So let's like like calculate the difference between our current position and the center point of the of mass, which is this like x arbitrarily decided. Like we assume that there are some circles here as well or something. I don't know. So let's do that. Where was I? <laughs> I completely lost it. I oh, just random numbers, like I'm too low. Can I copy something? Yes, I copy something. Body X. Uh, I want to know how far am I from the center? What if I have the center is that? Minus body X. If I'm farther from the center, I should... I should be moving towards that slower. So I should divide this by that. Yes. If I'm farther from the center, I should be moving towards it slower. Plus, of course, the previous velocity. Yes, that seems useful to also keep in mind. Like, we had some kind of previous velocity. Let's just not completely override it. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, and I want to check if it's zero. If it's zero, we shouldn't do anything. The program will crash. If you want a modern one, you would have to read some research papers on relative statistic tree problem or so. Yeah, we can try to do the modern one. We'll, we'll go crazy, but... I mean, we're doing Idris anyway. 
We already made SDL work in Idris, so. In fact, tomorrow is paper day. Um, I kind of like I'm kind of vaguely familiar with that from some YouTube videos, <laughs> and I watched those videos like two years ago or something. So, I quite recommend against it. <laughs> Are you saying it's a waste of time? The classic one already gives people enough problems. Yeah, are you seeing me struggle? I know, I want to do plus. Plus the previous velocity. What? How much previous velocity, you ask? How? What is the rate of change? You want to keep lots of previous velocity or a little bit of previous velocity? Uh, I think we want to keep lots of it. We want to at least keep like 80%, 90%. Um, change double some constant, right? I want to multiply that constant with this, and then we want to do one minus this. How do we even invent these numbers? That looks correct. I base it upon absolutely nothing. <laughs> that looks really correct. Oh, we still need to check the division by zero thing, right? Um, if you're equal to zero, we don't want to do you at all. In fact, if you're equal to zero, we just want to ignore you and do like if then. <laughs> Exchange. If exchange is not equal to zero, then exchange else one. Oh, actually zero, I think. Not one. Not zero. We just annihilate that part. Yeah, that's fine. Change is double. Oh, there's two, two columns there. That's my problem. Um, oh, it's already 10. Uh, this is pretty bi a bit of a mess, I think. Record body. How would you even do that, record updates? Yeah, you do it with comma, right? Gotta go for now. I'll check the end of the thought. Uh, fully functional simulation. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna end this here and uh, continue this next week. Next week. <laughs> Cause um, I also need to sleep. <laughs> uh, but we gotta go quite far and I think I can easily finish this. <laughs> Um, I'm quite confident at this point, uh, but thanks for watching by the way. See you later, man. Actually, I'm gonna end up now. Yeah, thanks for watching um, Everyone thanks for watching It's a busy stream, but um, also we did some interesting stuff. I think um, Actually, I'm gonna make this compile and then I'm gonna end it. That, how about that? Let's make it compile at least. I don't know why it doesn't compile. Maybe because I missed parentheses? No hmm. oh, I flipped it around. That's it the record should become first. See ya. Yeah, see ya. That's why. Uh, where block should be indented. How do you do where? I had it before, right? Yeah. I, I indented it a lot. That's the difference. <laughs> not a terminator. You're not a terminator. Uh, where? Hmm. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. I'm not sure why this is not working. Where? Not a terminator. Maybe we can't do where blocks and do blocks or something? Maybe we need to do it above. That's probably it. Let. Find mass center by too, too many arguments. What is going on? Oh, you need to know about body, right? Oh, that's why you couldn't find it. The body wasn't available. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, we don't want to do... Okay, go. I just realized we don't want to do this in the list. That's like a double recursion. And then you're another let. But you're fine as a let. You can't better match like this. Maybe it's like Haskell syntax. Probably. Uh, we can do... Instead of... Well, we can just call this thing center, I guess. And then use first and second. Instead of center X, center Y. Second center. We just only need to use it once. First center. We can use where now. I wanna, like, keep it outside because... It should only be done... Um, should be done first, and then we should do the rest of the function. Where? Come on, man. I'm not a terminator. I know you're not a terminator. <laughs> I don't know. Do let first or something. Let that is that. Oh, the return value or something. It needs to be a list? I don't know. Uh, when checking the right hand side of the update, would expect at list body. What do you do, record updates? I don't know. I make it compile though. <laughs> and then commit, and then, you know, be happy. Hmm. Maybe it's just one? It needs to be indented, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe it doesn't like lead bindings, who knows? Basically a map operation, we don't even need to use do. We'll think of it. Expected arrow. How do you do lambda? How do you do functions? How do you do inline functions? You don't have them or something. Uh, lambdas. Lambda. Oh, it is with a double arrow instead of single arrow. Okay, okay. That's annoying. Why even? Type mismatch between list body type of bodies and A to body. I'm putting in a body. Oh, it's the other way around, I guess. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's kind of annoying. Give the function first and then the other thing. Well, maybe you don't do that. Hmm. I'm really struggling with syntax at this point. This is again something. What? What is this? Let center find my cent. Uh, when checking right hand side, maybe it doesn't like let syntax or something. I don't know. When checking argument to func to function prelude map, can disambiguate disimbi instances. No name a suitable type. You don't. You don't know if it's a functor. You don't know if the list is a functor? Is that what you're saying? Because there's a body inside or something? What is this? No, you're complaining about line 52. Find mass center. Find mass center bodies. This is such a mess. Um, is it because of the record? What if you turn body here? Let me comment all these lines out. It's a record, definitely, okay. That kind of sucks. Anyway, this compiles. Um, I 
initial um, edit. We added the center func. Uh, we added the function to calculate center of mass. Actual update is a work in progress for next week. Anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Now I'm actually gonna end it. Because um, we got it to compile by commenting out a bunch of shit. <laughs> and the record is probably the issue. Um, but, yeah, I am gonna end it. I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow where we gonna do a bit of reading. A bit of reading from, from papers. And see you guys until then. Bye bye.